Alright guys, uh, back again with another uh, mod video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to try and keep this one as short as possible. Uh, yeah, what I want to do is uh, use one of these uh, back battery packs for the Game Gear and upgrade them with new modern batteries. Uh, both these battery packs are pretty much naggered. Um, this one, uh, you'll get about 20 minutes out of it. Uh, so the batteries inside are dead. This one, pretty much the same. Uh, this is an official Sega one, so power back. And this is a power grip made by a Gamester LMP. So they both uh, they both go onto the back of the game gear. This one actually clips into the battery compartments, and this one just screws in to the accessory screw hole on the back of the game gear. So really, it doesn't really matter which one I use because they're both knackered. So I will be upgrading both of them at the same time or eventually. Um, so I have two. Uh, Cam camera batteries here. They're both uh, exactly the same, period 3.6 volts each. So I'm going to be wiring these together in series to get uh, 7.2 volts. I have a charger here, which I bought specifically for this job here. This is uh, this charger's for a 7.2 volt battery. It actually outputs 8.4 volts, so it should be good to charge both these batteries once they're wired together in series. All right, here's the two batteries here out of their package. Um, they're actually a 3.7 volt battery. Um, they're only 1200 milliamp hours, which is pretty low. Um, when I wire these together in series. We're going to get twice the voltage but the same uh, amp bars. so I don't know how long they're going to last but they're going to last longer than 20 minutes that I'm getting out of this. Uh, I'm guessing about two hours, anything from an hour and a half to two hours. So there, as you can see these batteries are really thin which is why I chose to go for two separate batteries rather than one big battery so that they're uh, nice and easy to fit inside these battery packs here. So I'm going to go ahead and wire these together and I'll come back and show you what's happening. Alright guys, so I'm going to go with this uh, power back um, quite simply because it had two screws holding it together and I took those two screws out and it popped open. And yeah, so it was nice and simple. This uh, power back here doesn't have any screws at all. And uh, I did try going around it with a knife here, trying to press it open, and it's rock solid. So rather than ruin it, because I do have the box and stuff for this, I didn't want to uh, ruin it by pressing it open. So we're just going to go with this one for the meantime. Uh, this is all the, the gubbins that came inside it here. You can see there's a huge big battery cell in it. And the charging circuit is pretty much the same size. If we compare this uh, against what I'm putting back in it, there's the two small batteries here. And this is my charging circuit, which is still inside the the charger here but that's the size of the charging circuit that's going in <laughs> compared to uh, this so uh, we're going to have uh, a lot less weight to start with um, said the rating on these batteries is uh, 1200 milliamp hours the rating on this big battery here is 1300 milliamp hours and uh, this was meant to uh, give about three hours when it was new uh, whether that was actually true or not but uh, that's what it says on the box so we'll find out when we get all this wired together and the batteries charged up and stuff 
we'll soon find out exactly how long we'll get out of it. Alright guys, so um got everything wired together here and really at the testing stage. Uh according to the battery charger, both the batteries are fully charged. So um as you can see there's uh no low power warning on the game gear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this running for however long it takes to run the battery flat. Then I can plug the charger in, double check that the batteries are actually charging. So uh, I have everything wired up here. I've uh, wired this up to the original jack that was in the, the power back. This is the little uh, charging circuit. I removed the LED from the charging circuit and I have it on a wire here. I'm going to pass it uh, out through the original hole which is just there. And this switch here um, was part of the old power bag. Uh, it's for normal and quick charge modes but I just uh, desoldered it from the board and have hot glued it into place here. It does actually still move but doesn't do anything. And the two batteries, as you can see, are sitting in there. Um, everything's just sitting loose here at the moment. There's nothing glued. So yeah, just really need to test that uh, you know the, the the batteries are actually charging. That will uh, confirm that everything's wired up correctly. So we just have to wait until this goes flat, and then I can plug the uh, charger in. Um, when it's charging, the LED should be red, and when they're fully charged, it should be green. So when I plug it in at the minute, uh, they're green, so it's telling me the batteries are fully charged. Uh, I'm just not sure if they are or not. So, uh, yep, I have this uh, saved there, there's no jack, so I can actually uh, charge this straight off the standard Game Gear uh, AC adapter rather than using the one that came along with the charger. Alright guys, so uh, as you can see it's uh, daylight now. I uh, got about an hour and a half out of the batteries there. Um, it turns out they weren't actually fully charged. I had the uh, LED wired up the wrong way. So as it was charging it was green instead of red. So run the batteries flat and have them charging. Uh, I charged them for about 15 minutes after I'd run them flat. Charged them for about 15 minutes and ran the game gear. And uh, it ran fine, no, no uh, power light warning or anything. So it's definitely charging. So I'm just leaving it on here until it fully charges, just to double check and make sure the LED turns green, which is what I want. And uh, once that's done, I can then hot glue everything into place and put this thing back together. Uh, this is actually uh, the following night from the last part of the video. I've spent the day there doing some testing on this uh, just to make sure everything was working as it should. And pretty much it is. The only problem is the charger that I bought um, obviously wasn't designed to charge two smaller batteries. Uh, it is charging them perfectly, but it can't tell when the batteries are fully charged. Um, it's not actually cutting out, so my little LED isn't changing colour um, as it should when it was uh, charging the battery it was designed for. Uh, apart from that, it's working dead on, so I have tested it out and it takes about an hour and a half to recharge the battery. Uh, the batteries full, fully and I'm getting an hour and 45 minutes uh, run time on the game gear out of it which is pretty impressive for uh, such a pretty low um, ampage battery so um, I actually had more room inside this than I thought uh, I did actually uh, trim out the inside of the case I'll show you on this this is the other half of it um, these parts here were designed to hold the big long battery pack that was on it and it was the same in there where the two batteries are 
so I trimmed all them pieces out and allowed me to set the batteries down in further um, so I could actually get um, two fatter batteries in here um, probably twice as thick as these ones so I may revisit this or do another one at some stage with uh, a bigger uh, amperage battery um, obviously the same voltage so I may get away with one big battery or I may have to do two small batteries again but either way um, I should be able to use a, a more a powerful battery or a battery that can hold more uh, amps or milliamps uh, yeah so that's everything sort of hot glued into place here that's the little charging circuit here that's the, the yellow green and white wires here feeding the LED and uh, the two batteries are wired together and then this is your, your power lead that comes off and goes out to the game gear and uh, this is the uh, standard jack that came with uh, the power back. So it just sits in there and the two halves of the case actually hold it in. You can't actually get that back in with one hand so I'm not going to bother. So I'll just put this together here and uh, give you a look at the finished product. And here we have it back together again. Um, yeah, turned out really well. Uh, I'll say one thing about this. There's absolutely no weight in this now. Um, beforehand with the big old battery pack on it that we have a ton. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much, it feels like it's empty. So I have uh, my little charge LED there. I did have to make that hole slightly bigger to allow the LED to uh, sort of stick out a little bit. I um, still have the switch on it here just to keep it uh, standard looking but the switch doesn't actually do anything anymore so from the outside uh, you can't tell that this thing's been modified at all um, which is what I wanted I wanted it to look standard and here we have it attached to the back of the game gear um, you can actually still play the game gear while this thing's charging which is uh, super awesome because I wasn't sure if that was going to happen or not wasn't sure what way the battery uh, charger had actually worked so just plug it in there you can see our uh, charge LED comes on see um, with the standard charger when I was charging a standard battery once the battery is fully charged that would change to green but it's not doing that because I'm charging two batteries um, it obviously can't tell uh, what's going on with the, the batteries because it wasn't designed for them and uh, just turn it on here turn the light off here you might be able to see the screen Like I said, I'm getting uh, uh, an hour and 45 minutes, which is pretty good. So better than 20 minutes I was getting out of the standard battery pack. So uh, I'll do rightly for now until I uh, decide to either build another one of these or uh, upgrade the batteries in this. So that's it guys. Uh, that's my latest uh, battery mod for the Game Gear. As always, uh, please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and thanks for your support, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.